it has made the impact is including the community with our donations and um, they then feel like they're a part of making Toledo better. We are trying to cook healthier foods. So between your donation and all winter long, we were able to have the fresh produce and fresh fruit and things like that. Uh, our food box program is basically anything that individuals are not receiving in their own household. Uh, really it all depends on what the community is uh, uh, donating. Pasta, uh, try to make some type of a, a spaghetti or a sauce mix, uh, basically canned uh, vegetables, um, and every once in a while when um, individuals uh, such as uh, Bowling Green goes ahead and donates uh, fresh produce, we're able to uh, um, really uh, bless uh, the community in, in that manner as well. We've had individual uh, grandmothers with, uh, uh, they're responsible for four or five ch uh, grandchildren just come in and basically in tears. They really are uh, very, very uh, thankful and grateful and uh, individuals that say uh, things like, I don't know what I, what I would have done uh, had it not been for the uh, Cherry Street Mission. Thank you so much for all of um, this donation of fresh, I saw mushrooms and cauliflower and asparagus and all of this fresh produce. We're going to make a lot of salads with it. We'll be able to garnish our meats that we are cooking with some fresh steamed vegetables. Um, so we thank you so, so much for all of these donations. The holidays can be a really tough time for families. So we as a department had decided about four years ago that we were going to start raising funds for the local Salvation Army as well as the Cocoon Shelter, which is a battered women's shelter here in the area. We go to all of our associates and try to raise money to help these families. It's really nice to be able to provide them with the ability to you know, find a little bit of joy in the holidays and maybe even just relieve some of those stresses that they have the rest of the year. We've been able to help 14 families and 40 children. We've raised almost $5,000 to help the Salvation Army um, families as well as the Cocoon Shelter. And we've done everything from gift cards for food to gifts for children. It's been a great thing on campus. It's brought us together as a department and we're able to take a time of year that can sometimes be especially stressful for people and hopefully relieve that um, as a department. The Salvation Army gift uh, donation is important to me um, because I've been there. I've been that parent that needed the help so to give back is um, very much so a great uh, experience for me and I think it's a great thing for the students to be able to do so. What I've done for the last two years um, has challenged the students uh, to uh, donate a dollar um, the first year. This year we did two dollars. This year we've raised, I believe we raised not quite two hundred dollars. Not only the students get involved, the uh, permanent employees as well, um, which makes it nice because they encourage their students for each unit. <laughs>